Hey guys! Today we're making a Pusheen inspired beanbag type chair, a paw pillow and a cookie table. Hope you'll enjoy! I first made a pattern for the beanbag. Now the width of this pattern is basically going to be the circumference of the chair. The height of the chair is going to be up till where I made the pencil line. And the rest is going to be the backrest that, when put together, is going to be the silhouette of Pusheen. For the second piece of the pattern, you want to trace that backrest onto a new piece like this. And the last piece is going to be for the seat, which should be smaller than the opening on the pattern due to the batting we'll be adding later. I didn't have the right color fabric I needed for this project, so I just took some white fabric and then painted it using acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium. And don't worry, if you don't have fabric medium, you can also use normal fabric paint. Trace the stencils onto the back of the fabric, then cut them out, leaving enough room for seam allowance. Now we're gonna begin putting them together. Take the first two pieces and place them good side to good side. Make sure they line up and then sew along the outline. Do that to both sides until you have something like this. I then flip that around so that the piece that is split down the center is on the back of the chair. And I then sewed on the seat. Once you've sewn on the seat, you want to take the two pieces on the back of the chair and sew those together as well. At this point, if you flip it inside out, this is what it will look like. But before you flip it inside out, you want to sew on a piece for the bottom. For this one, I didn't measure, I just sewed on a random piece of fabric all the way around, leaving a small opening for the batting. Next you can start stuffing it. I first added some pillow stuffing or batting to kind of stuff out the ears. And then since this is a bean bag, I filled out the rest with rice. Glue the opening shut and the basic chair is done. To finish off, you just want to paint on the facial features and the stripes. And for the whiskers, I just glued on some baked pommel clay, but you can also use leather cord. To make the paw pillow, you want to make a super simple pattern, which is just the basic shape. Try 
transfer this onto two pieces of fabric, sew along the edge, leave a small opening, flip it inside out and then add the padding. Glue it shut and then glue on some pink fabric to look like the paw print. Lastly, I made a simple cookie shaped coffee table. For this, I just sketched the shape onto a piece of wood, cut it out using my saw, sanded the edges and then painted it using acrylic paint. Lastly, I made the stand or legs using some polymer clay and three pieces from a wooden dowel. Then finish off by painting the legs as well, and you're done.